Jump over to 1 Kings, will you? 1 Kings 18.26. And this was, uh, this is the, the, the famous passage where you have Elijah on, the, on Mount Carmel with the prophets of Baal. And again, this, you know, you've read this before, you've seen this before, but I looked at the passion of these false prophets and it blew my mind. And in many ways, it put me to shame. 1 Kings 18, starting with verse 26. And they took the bull that was given them, and they prepared it and called upon the name of Baal from morning until noon, saying, O Baal, answer us. But there was no voice and no one answered. And they limped around the altar that they had made. I want y'all to notice how long they called upon the name of their false god. Y'all see that? From morning until noon. I don't know about y'all, but sometimes it's a struggle for me to pray 15 minutes. Sometimes I'm trying to pray and it's like I got to press through and, you know, distraction starts coming and my stomach starts grumbling. I start thinking about something else and I just got to press in and hear these men. And if you look earlier, you can see how many there were. There were 450 of them and 400 prophets. So altogether, you have 850 men praying to a false god from morning until noon. Now, if you just say you just say your morning is eight o'clock till noon, that's four hours consistently. Now, in that we see. Long prayer. <laughs> they didn't stop. It didn't say they took a break. We see unity. 850 men unified. And you think about Christians. How have, I don't think I've ever seen 850 believers together praying without some type of disagreement or <coughs> arguing. We, we can't unify. Yet, look at these false prophets praying to a demon. 850 of them praying for four hours. But that's not the end of it. So nothing happened. And then you see, you know, like uh, we, we've heard over and over again in, the, in our prayer meetings, you know, we pray for something, it doesn't happen, we give up, we lose heart. So look, they pray four hours. And at noon, Elijah mocked them, saying, cry aloud, for he is a God. Either he is musing, or he is relieving himself, or he is on a journey. Or perhaps he is asleep and must be awakened. Think about that. He just mocked them. He just mocked them to their face after they just prayed for four hours. If we get mocked, will we cower? Will we back down? Will we say, oh, shucks, you just hurt my feelings. Look what they did in, in the face of their mocker. Verse 28. And they cried aloud. They didn't stop. They kept going and cut themselves until the blood gushed out upon them. I'm sorry. They cut themselves after their customs with swords and lances until the blood gushed out upon them. And as midday passed, they raved on until the time of the offering of the oblation. But there was no voice. No one answered. No one paid attention. These men. 850 of them, not only did they pray a long time, not only did they respond to the mockery with more devotion, more intensity, but they went through intense suffering to the point of bloodshed. <coughs> and they're wrong. <coughs> we see that they're wrong. We know that they're worshiping a demon. They're not even in the truth. Yet look at their passion. Look at their devotion. That's what I'm saying. You're out. You're walking. Yes, when we see the Mormons in our neighborhood, that should rise anger in us. That, that's righteous anger. They're out there preaching false doctrine. They're spreading lies. They're bringing people to hell. But doesn't it do something to you to motivate you to say, I want to be more passionate than them? We look at the prophets of Baal and say, look how long they prayed and no one answered. Look, how, look, look, look in the face of their mocker. They didn't shrink back and get their feelings hurt. They were even more passionate and more devoted. And you know what? After the prophets of Baal were all killed, you would think that Baal worship would have ended, right? 
But no, that was not the end of Baal worship. Even though all of these men were killed because it was, A, the contest was the true God, he answers, the rest will be killed. So all these men were slaughtered, but people still went on worshiping in spite of that. That's amazing to me. 